Hello and welcome back to GiantBomb.com's coverage of E3 2017. This is the second night of the show, and we are at our final segment of the night. So let's see how this goes then. We've got a full crew. I don't think we could fit any more than this. We did not prepare for more than six. Uh, this is the number of microphones we brought. We brought seven mics. That's it. That's we. If more people showed up, tell them to f themselves. Heather Alexander is here from Kotaku. Welcome. Hi. Hi. How's it going back there? It's okay. Awesome. I am about to collapse. Yeah. No, that's okay. That sounds about yes, right. That seems, yeah. seems about right. Uh, Patrick Kleppa, professional collapser. Uh, uh, <laughs> The second time she's been dragged this week. Yeah. Phil Spencer, Jeff yep. Gersman, <laughs> Ziv Davis. <laughs> <laughs> Never yeah. not good. Yeah, well, <laughs> hi, welcome. It's good hey. to see you. You too. Yeah. Uh, Austin Walker is here from uh, AverageBomb.com. Average Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Slightly above average. No, no. Someone Thank registered you. averagebomb.com well, last, after last night's show and directed it to Waypoint. One of our many. We also <laughs> yeah. have new.donk.city. Yeah, that's a uh, good one. We also have popliopals.moe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got culturalmarxism.club. They have all of the URLs. These all sound like Mastodon instances to me. Yeah, I don't know. basically. <laughs> like, that's we are the Mastodon of video game websites. <laughs> and I mean that both the social media network and like the metal band. So yeah, that, that's a pretty a deep good place cut for people who know about metal. <laughs> it's not it, an especially it, no. It's actually uh, one of the more popular. Just for Alex band. Navarro. It was. He's the one who made a fucking noise. He's laughing a little too I've hard. I heard that. Yes. <laughs> Have you that's played Rockman? <laughs> Chris Plant is here. Yeah. Are, are you with the Verge now? Yeah, what, what I'm even... one of those websites. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. I've been mostly doing VCR reviews. Smart. Yeah, yeah man. that's where the real money's at. I'm telling you. Yeah. Uh, what's, the, what's the latest on auto tracking? Still good? It's still, I mean, it's gotten better. <laughs> better? And like, so I was at CES. I didn't go to CES. CES. I didn't go to CES. I was there. I Why? didn't go. I'll be honest. I don't even know what they do at that show. You're fucking lying about VCRs to me. Justin McElroy down there. Hi. How you doing? I own fartpatrol.com. <laughs> Oh. That's a pretty good one. That's not bad. I also uh, own TeamGoogle.com, <laughs> which is not. I keep waiting for them to come calling with that checkbook because they're going to get that going. One of eventually. these days, they're going to be like, hey, wait a minute, this is where. They're going to buy Snapchat and they just want it to redirect. Also, yeah. when, when, he when Heavy Rain was big, I bought Press X to Jason, and that is not pretty good. You renewed that day, since yeah, then? No, it just, kind of, <laughs> just stayed in the archives. <laughs> What if you just now double down on that and just say, like, press X to robot or press X to Detroit? That's a whole other URL. I don't have that kind of money to throw around. I've got an offer code for you. You can get this uh, URL for a discount. Uh, Griffin McElroy, hello. Hi. Hi. Close to me. Yeah. Yeah. I Smelling of bananas. This, uh, see, yeah, the banana thing really took off, huh? Yeah, how's that been going? <laughs> Uh, it's been going. It's been going good. Um, Isn't it yeah. coconuts now? Yeah, I was gonna say. You yeah, did, you did, need a did, whole you, coconut. Are you doubling down we on have the coconut business? It's, it's like escalating it? quickly. I'm a looking lot. at your agent over here, Nick. Is this a coconut thing happening? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. All right. Great. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I typically avoid food that has its own like sort of fruit hair, and that's kind of what a coconut brings to the table. But like a banana has fruit hairs, but it's on the inside of the peel. And you did that. Wow. I did do that. How yeah. So I think by I have a the leg transit stand property, on. like really, this coconut thing's got to happen. Yeah, I, my brand right now fucking sucks. <laughs> 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 One more year of stuff and stuff in your mouth for oh, money. No, <laughs> it's the internet. <laughs> yeah. So how has the show been going for? Uh, like uh, you, you waypoint kids. Yeah, the back first there. one. Yeah. As a group. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of people here. <laughs> I had a man confront me and ask me for my phone number today. Holy for, shit! What? To like stop me from getting. I, it was a whole thing. To date you? No. <laughs> they want to like, kiss you? To he like was a pastor. In, to get into the. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't what? make it any more. Back up. Was I it mean, the bad guy from Evil Within too? Yeah, actually. <laughs> that, that, that or Far Cry Five. Yeah, one or the yeah. other. A lot yeah. of bad pastors out there. Asking Be about safe. the Lord. Why did a pastor ask you for your phone number though? For real? He thought I was an esports. <laughs> he asked me. Someone and you asked you were it and esports or e esports. Right, so someone. So it's the first time, and people are from the fans are around, and they're like, "Hey, can I get a photo?" And I'm like, "Awesome, sure." And this dude had a camera, and he was like, "I'll take that photo for you." And just he kept that photo. That was a photo for him. Okay. And then he was like, "So what are you, professional, amateur?" And I was like, "I'm. I write for a living, I guess." And that he sounds asked me. Professional. I, he was like, "How many followers do you have?" And it just <laughs> went down from there. It was bad. W mm. Did he want to like make a little money? Like, what was he? He's just he like, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to hitch my wagon to somebody like a real proper influencer. He, you look like you got the juice. He said he was at making. This is not a joke. 
a New Hampshire based amateur esports league. Hey, live free or die. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Motherfucker. Y'all can't right. But it's, Represent. Shout out to all of you. But is the league called <laughs> Live E or Die? <laughs> Definitely. And then sports in parentheses somewhere in that sentence. Yeah, we'll figure that out. So that's been my E3 so far. (laughs) All right. Yeah, Yeah, that sounds good. Patrick? What a weird E3. Yeah. Right? Mm. Just, mm. This is your... I, mean, I actually feel... Uh, uh, so, yeah. So, I've been going since your... 1997. Okay. Skipped yeah. one year, two? two years ago. Well, is that true? I was... Uh, yeah, 14. So, it was in Atlanta back then. Yep. The mm-hmm. first one where they showed Half-Life 1, uh-huh. Metal Gear Solid in English. Uh, I, went with my, I went with my father. Because, uh-huh. And I had a pink underage media badge. Nice. Because... Nice. Well, was back then, where you could work for Best Buy, or it was not GameStop, it was Babbage's Software, etc. Mm-hmm. And was it the Funko Land? Funko Land was around. Yeah. If you had a pay stub and they sold video games, you could just get in. Jesus they were just Christ. happy for people to show up <laughs> right. to different times. Wow. Yeah. You have to be 17 now, right? There's no. So they still had the sign in front that said you have to yeah, be 17. Yeah, yeah. but it turns but out you get you, a pink badge. Yeah. Ooh, you interesting. Don't have to be okay. Sort of an that's, unaccompanied that's always minor. been there because you get like you know kids that are on TV shows that show up to this thing. Steven Spielberg's kid. You don't. Need to be said exactly, yeah. yeah. Wait, he's like 34. It was like an example. Like, I have Steven yeah, Spielberg's like Wikipedia kid page in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that. Is a different URL completely. Yeah. Uh, Does Justin have that uh, website? That, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, not, not yet. <laughs> Heather, there's a real opportunity here for you to get real into this URL game. So, uh, so this is your first E3. This is E3. my first E3. Oh, wow. You know when Goku wants to fight people and he goes into that room where yeah. time is like 12 times fucking slower? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah I think it's the room we have across the hall from the bathroom. Right, oh, my gosh. That is me right now. Like, just constantly, like... I'm, You're spending the whole episode charging up. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to kick all sorts of ass. But right now, like... Mm, yeah. I'm sit down. I'm so disappointed. Oh, no, no, no. Once you... Oh. I'm done. I'm done. He's right in my I'm so disappointed that metaphor connected to what we were talking about because I hope we were just about to figure out. Just just take a a wild turn. Yeah. Uh, Justin, I feel like you have not been to E3 since the 70s. Yeah. (laughs) It's been about three years I've been covering it from New York um, because. By covering it from New York, do you mean. Watching the same videos that everybody else (laughs) watches? Hey, hey, big news. That's what everybody's doing now. Uh, yeah, true. I've become largely vestigial to our organization. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't wised up yet, so I'm just kind of the grand old man, more of a symbol at this point, really. A pop pop. Uh, yeah, kind of the pop pop of, of poly- pop 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 I haven't been here for, for a few years, and uh, I wanted to see if it was how I remembered it was, and it was. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely, it was like that. How I thought it was. <laughs> a waking um, nightmare. <laughs> Yo, but there's a lot of people here, and yeah. you will wait 45 minutes for a fish taco from a truck? <laughs> for 45 minutes? No, that taco place stopped taking uh, cards today while I was like four steps away from getting <laughs> oh. food. Oh, oh, wow, that's uh, it's garbage. That's it's garbage. Is there like a law that all of the food carts in that kind of open area have to have an offensive name? Like the Middle Feast? <laughs> there's one with like like an anime girl just like chilling. Yeah. 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 It's just like, <laughs> what the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's like, I don't know, it's called like Babe Out Yeah, it's just like, they're like, that... here's your comfort food. It's like, I'm not sure if that's exactly why people are going Shit. to that food truck. Well, <laughs> anime food looks good. Yeah, I, I was talking anime to Ben f- Pack about this, and he was like, anime food looks delicious. Looks, look at it. And you I looked watch at it. You should Kozake. I, I uh, have, okay. and that food looks fucking incredible. Yeah. And uh, that looks like a very relaxing way to just like, yeah. I'm going to have this beer and to eat this. And, that, and that then place, I got my office lady job. That place has a, uh, that place has a little counter out in front of the window where they hand you the food and I swear to God they had like three baskets of like the types of food that you could order out there that they it wasn't like plastic it was like the real food that they set out there and then put up a sign that said for display only which I think but is, it was the food it's the boldest strategy to advertise food I've maybe ever seen because after, how long does that food keep in that hot California sun like how long does that look appetizing at all well maybe it just is like you know it's like nature's heat lamp Finally, at, uh, honestly, in advertising. That's yeah. what I'm out yeah. here for. No, nowhere else in E3. I saw Beyond Good and Evil 2 today. <laughs> <laughs> and what is that? Uh, is, fuck, it, is it a website fucking. where you can sign up for updates? or what is there? What it's is a tech demo. Okay. A, How do you feel about No Man's Sky? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, have you, has no one here actually heard about Beyond I, Good and Evil 2? I, 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 I saw yeah, the same I, demo. It's a thing. Yeah. Okay. I know it. I think we're, I'm actually like vaguely interested. I'll let you see it and come to your uh, own conclusions. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, no. I, I like. What, okay, so... Let's hear about it. So it's an action-adventure RPG, I guess, sort of. There's photos in it. Do I take pictures of pigs? 
you can take pictures of lots of things, and you can show those pictures, supposedly, show those pictures to other pigs, and they'll be like, oh yeah, I know that place. That place <laughs> they, has good they beer. They built an engine that at some point may be able to take photographs of pigs. Yeah. <laughs> it also it also simulates the entire fucking universe. Yeah. And that worked yeah. out really well last time. But not yeah. so you can go around the whole universe. They basically like, it's like two solar systems, three solar systems, something like that. What's the fucking point? <laughs> well, so I saw this demo with, uh, with, with uh, Marty from IGN, and at one point he was like, do y'all just hate yourselves? Like, why the fuck are you doing this? And they're like, this is the only way. This is the best way to make this game. This is the way that we've never done he before. Did he lean in and say, oh, shh, we're not. We're siphoning money off of this to make wild. Just everybody oh, fucking play it cool. Well, their their well, office is like the most beautiful office in the world. You, you open the door and it's just like beauty surrounding you. And whenever you talk with them, you wonder why the game so chipped. They're like, what did you do today? Well, Michelle, he ate cheese. He's <laughs> so funny. A this is a one. real, no, that's a real quote that they gave me. Whoa. That's not fake. That it was like, your, your, your day was at, like, you had a nice cheese meal, and then you sat outside, and it was another gorgeous day. And like, yeah, it's like, well, great. No games will ever be public. They described the room that they did the demo. Did they do this for you? And they're like, we designed this room to uh, look like yeah. a we slept in a lot <laughs> what? in what? France. Why? Because that's where they do their best thinking. The comfortable, cozy barracks. Yeah. The thing all with of these, their wives. the thing with these creative types is that you never know what's going to lead you from point A to point B. So sure. Michelle mm. and Sale eats like a whole wheel of cheese, and everybody has like a really good laugh at it. But it that nice that leads him to the decision to throw. Away that everybody throw away everything that folks loved about Beyond Good Evil One and make this <laughs> fuck wild open open world universe game that's not gonna happen. I mean, <laughs> we'll never laugh again. But what if it does? Hey, what? If, it does, yeah. if it does, though, yeah. If it does, though, and we all get a wheel of cheese. Explain <laughs> the scam that this cat is running. He shows a trailer for his game. Everyone's like, hell yes, here it is. He waits uh, nine they, they, years. Not, not Fifteen years <laughs> later, they show another trailer, and everyone's like, "Yeah, it's happening!" Like, do you not remember? Like, it just happened. The best part is, last year they showed a trailer for a totally different uh -huh. game, and yeah. nobody was like, like "Wow, doesn't even exist anymore." Yeah, no, I don't know. What, what about that other game? He's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, y'all see that Raymond Origins?" No. Was that just like? Is he just like pulling that on Sony now? He's just like, "I got a good thing going with Ubisoft, but what if we did it again?" <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, we're gonna have this animals fighting Juggalos game over here. We're just gonna make the trailer. Don't Stop worry about it. Stop giving them cheese. No, the Juggalos need cheese. It's the Pig, whole thing. Pigmen with magnets. Yeah. 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 Fucking work, Perfect. Jeff. I, fucking, I don't know. No you take pictures food. of them and then you show the magnets to other pigs right. and they go, I know where those magnets are. <laughs> and they make that rabbit noise. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Shit. They got it. And Nintendo's like, get me that. Why yeah. do you have such a good rabbit impression? Yeah. How I, long did you work on your rabbit's on impression? Uh, every day. Okay, I just yeah, think no, about good. those little guys and I just laugh till I shit. I, they're <laughs> I, I explain a lot back here. They're cut ups. I'll say that about it. It's hard to see it because it's not HD, but you're actually just shitting out of your pants. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we got one more day on this couch and yeah. someone's going to be real bummed out. Uh, Only in the 4K. Yeah. Only no. true 4K high definition. <laughs> someone's going to have to sit there and, well, well, we'll get a steam clean. Stone we got, cold. I know a guy. 60 uh, frames per second. Yeah. Uh, I. That's, look, we have to beam this out to the internet in the highest quality possible because otherwise, like, what are we even doing? You know? <laughs> if I'm sending like 320 by 240, what is that? This is CBS. <laughs> Only the finest. <laughs> I've never heard a lawyer pick up a phone so fast. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, I saw a commercial for Hawaii Five O where they were fighting a giant robot. What's going on over there? Uh, well, I'm, I'm glad, not I'm, a joke. None of that was a joke. I just like it's like next week on Hawaii Five O, they're shooting a robot. There's a, a really amazing program at the company where if you're there long enough, like instead of like let's saying like, hey, you get to go on sabbatical, they're like, you can write a season of any TV show you want. Okay. And they I, let cho Dan I chose okay. Hawaii Five O. Right. You and David just, Cage got together. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, David Cage, what's up with this? And he said, I don't need the robots. You will get to free you them to from free the robots. Man. And I'm like, that's boring. We want the cops to bust the robots because they're crimeys. Uh, and it's just like, you know, it's so. Je know. Jeff, your script is very good. Maybe we'll remove every other word. <laughs> I feel pretty strong about No, 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 Jeff. Trust me. And then we'll double them up. So so we get a bunch of people saying, we'll follow you. And then we'll have the lead character say, follow me. <laughs> As if we didn't all just agree. Does he the plan? Yes, very good. Yes. Print it. Oh. Michelle, time for cheese. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> Man, people from other countries are really taking a beating on this section. Uh, it's about time, am I right? Yeah, yeah. 2017. Yeah. 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 America's right. killing yeah. it right now, yeah. so. Yeah, we're crushing We're on the up and up. Oh, man. Nailing it. So has it been, I, like, like seriously, like, like, has the show been a lot of appointments and getting around and seeing stuff, or has it been pretty light? For everybody, like, are you, you have like a Heather? You have like a full schedule. Oh, I am going everywhere. I had this is all a, a, a ton of firsts for me, right? It's like first translated interviews, so I'm just in a room oh, yeah. of like oh, that's rough. people and who you like, don't know who to look like, at, or oh, you look at yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it, well, it's also the best because they're very they're very passionate. Yeah, people no, do. it's awesome. But yeah. it's also like, who do I look at? What do I do? Oh, this is a good question. Do they understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I am terrified, but it's also been very very exciting, and I. I'm fortunate to be here, but also, holy shit, get me out of here. It's, there's definitely like a fire hose effect to it, especially yeah. like with, uh, you know, there are a lot more people here. Like last year. There's a ton of people on that floor. Yeah, last year, last year we were doing stuff like making phone calls from the show floor and recording podcasts directly on the show <laughs> well, floor. It worked last yeah. year. Yeah, 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 all kinds of weird stuff that you'd never been able to do at E3 before. No, I just shove people aside and go, I'm from Kotaku, and that goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Everybody's that. like, oh yeah. yeah, cool, we're yeah. cool with that. Oh yeah, you guys are the best, let's Bad go. fucking cast. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I love gamers. I don't, yeah. think, I don't, I don't the think the extra, I don't think the extra people would be an issue Except the way that, if you haven't been to E3 before, the way that the show floor is laid out is that, like, the big, like, Sony and Nintendo and Microsoft and, like, EA and Ubisoft and Activision <laughs> all demand that they be in the very center of the show floor right in front of the fucking front door. And everybody else, like, those booths aren't as crowded, but everybody just swarms to Nintendo and Sony. Like, I think it's not a problem of, like, there being too many people here. It's just that everybody yeah. walks in and walks 20 feet to the Nintendo and Sony, like, clusterfuck yeah. and then stops. And it's like, you have to just buffalo your way through them to get anywhere. It's yeah. also a poor convention yeah. for fans, it's right? Really like, it's really, yeah. so that's, much, that's, yeah. Seriously. I mean, not how much for tickets? For them, like, it's, it's, it's just not designed that way. And maybe it'll pivot that way, but, like, I walk around, and it's like, when I was done with meetings, it's like, all right, I'll just walk around for an hour. Like, what would it be like if I was just here and mm -hmm. enjoying things? Like, there's not, just not much yeah. for you to yeah. do. And well, Pax has figured that out. Exactly. And they're trying to yeah. pivot, you know, eight years too late. Yeah. And maybe they'll figure it out. Maybe it'll, it'll get they'll them. They'll have to. I mean, you yeah. know, they'll definitely it figure it out. It has to become because, essentially you know. a Pax that, like, adopts a thing like a Gamescom, which is like Gamescom press is hours the, the, or, like, yeah. you know, press hours or ahead of time. But, but it's just, it's a, it's a novelty for fans that have paid. But that novelty will wear off. Fast, I think, yeah. because there's just not enough yeah. for it. It's not a good fan. Right. Convention. Yeah, and, and so uh, uh, GI Biz did an interview. They, they were they, they interviewed a few people. They walked around and said like, "So, what do you think of the E3?" And they actually got a couple. And we, I think, we ran into a couple people that were the same deal. That were like, it was the same response you would get at something like PAX, where people were like, "I waited in line for like four hours, yep. and it was awesome. We what? totally hung out." And and it's like some people were just more than happy to do yes. that just to get a glimpse of six some of hour this. lines for Assassin's Creed Origins that people were like, "Yeah, like totally. playable or like Play theater playable, thing. playable." Okay, All I right. think. Well, I hope. Right. I, I pray I, I, for six hours. So. Oh my I'm gosh. pretty sure they had that like 45 minute demo if you were okay. waiting like, right. okay. in line right. for that stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, and. I feel like, though, like, I mean, they're not getting the real press experience, which is like, what if I told you <laughs> you could come here on, like, Saturday, and then Sunday night, watch an entire gameplay demo, and then, like, Tuesday and Wednesday, go behind closed doors <laughs> and watch that exact same gameplay <laughs> demo while the publicist watches you. Now you talk. Nah, it's pretty yeah. good, because that was my entire day. I don't wait 45 minutes for my parents if they're lost in a city somewhere. Jesus. Are you kidding me? Yeah, like, to play Assassin's Creed? No, like, you are on your own. That would be an amazing plot doing? for the next Assassin's yeah, Creed. Yeah, absolutely. Your parents are playing Assassin's Creed. Oh, is that the new, uh, the new meta layer? Your parents have blended Creed. into a crowd, and they're just, like, oh, walking near them. Just going. <laughs> it's so worth it, because you get to play as that bird that just like, <laughs> that find my parents. Yeah. Scream! <laughs> that bird, it doesn't even go up and down. It's just perfectly still. It's a very good bird. It's very right, good yeah. at what it does. It's well, good birds, Austin. Yeah. It's good birds. What if we uh, fired Kinsha Hall back up and filled it with vendors? We had this thought earlier. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. already yeah. happened. It's called South Hall now. Yeah. Did you not go to the gamer store? <laughs> I didn't stop by the gamer store this year. It's uh, no, there, no, there are like three now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's, a ch it's a challenge. They have real good socks. But yeah, yeah I, you know, like clearly, yeah, the, the show would probably need to change just to be a better, a better time for the people that are paying this yeah. money. And, and they were not very upfront about what people got so the you Coliseum get, thing happened later right like, and you, like, you got people that, that not incorporated that, into the yeah. show yeah you, you, know. you got Isn't people that thought that, 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 uh, yeah. that they would get into the press conferences well that, that, like, I can't wait to see Microsoft like right. that's, not, that's it's no. actually weird because especially with like Bethesda and Sony 
You pretty much have the same experience as everybody else. I mean, if you, right? Like, if How you do you feel about trailers? Yeah, right. Do you want to watch right. a video? Because we're watching a video. Yeah, but some of you guys see, like, bodies hanging upside down, writhing oh, next to the video. Christ. Will they jump off and get me? Yeah, I mean, no, maybe. they will not. Maybe. maybe. I mean, who can That's say? 4D. Yeah, no, so we, we watched all those press conferences here with the air conditioning on, mm. and it was pretty great. Did it smell yeah, nice? It good. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. We, we just kind of hung out in here. We talked and watched on the internet, and I had some water. Nice. Uh, and yeah, it was nice. it was a an influencer time. pointed bright lights at me and Patrick for like an hour. <laughs> oh my what? God. Did he influence you about anything? She influenced. She, she, sorry. <laughs> well, we don't know if it was her fault. We, who really feels the two guys in front of us? It probably was. There's two guys in suits, like where where uh, Griffin and, and Plant are. It might have been them. We it could have been them. We, we didn't really look yes. that close. And it was just like someone was just keeping them lit to film their react their live reactions so the to whole, the whole yeah, show, camera. and not just like a little light, like one of those lights, like, like a yeah. big ass light. I had to hide behind his head. Oh. And Austin just gave the death stare. <laughs> and then she and fucking just walked away. It's a lot of wild stuff. Like, I was at the Sony presser and I was like, I'm going to be all super professional. And then there's like an influencer fellow who I'm pretty sure was some type of luchador. Okay. Oh, I saw him. Yeah. Yes, yeah. no, he was, yeah. he was like, we are here and we are ready. And I'm just like, I'm just trying to get like my Wi Fi working. <laughs> yeah. I really need to start sending stuff to the home some team. Stuff here. I, I He's like, like, I am pumped. Yeah. I will break you into a thousand tiny pieces and then shit those pieces out. Yeah. Whoa. That's, I mean, E3. That's where it's, I'm headed with, honestly. Yeah. Like, like, give us one more year. I'm going to be up here. <laughs> Pooping my pants, and you know, that's how you that's how you get the the hits. I, I don't want to just throw influence under the bus. No. I will, no, I, no, no, no. I will name names. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and Dad, you brought a video team, and I was trying to play that Wolfenstein, and like. You are me, okay. and I am Engadget. This is a nice guy from Engadget. I'm not going to say his name, but the video <laughs> guy had like one of those lights, uh -huh. which is not meant for one person. <laughs> like literally, like so, Engadget dude. And Chris, how do both of you feel about this game? It's like a 30 minute demo. He's like, just just talk about what's happening. So I'm trying to play this like game about, you know, like Nazis. And he's like, he's like, what do you think about this? And he's like, playing the game, he's like, Nazi killed me again. Got killed by a Nazi again, <laughs> and the, the light is blinding me. My eye is twitching. My contact is dried up, so I'm changing my contacts like directly into the camera. The in chat got your video the whole time, thinking like somebody's gonna turn this into a damn gif, and then it's gonna be me who's the new. The new shit kid. The new Star Wars the new, kid. The new contact. The new crusty contact. Crusty contact. And that's boy. when the money comes in, and now then suddenly rich. you're the end gadget guy, mm -hmm. right? You graduate <laughs> up the chain. Finally, AOL. Yeah. Drowning <laughs> 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 in money. <laughs> so that's where the good game coverage lives. I'm told. <laughs> if it's not there, it's Zip. <laughs> these days. Anything good happen? Oh, uh, Why sorry. are we oh, not very oh, Monster Hunter. There's a Monster there's Hunter. Fuck yeah, there's a monster, a monster Hunter. I'm going to hunt all the monsters. I'm going to hunt Do you want 10 monsters? monsters. Yes. Absolutely. Would you say 10? Yeah. And no, I'll stop. Like 10? <laughs> no, yeah. I'll do much more than 10. There's at least like... 12. Okay. That is that is no joke. That's the most exciting uh, announcement of E3 Absolutely. for me. Absolutely. The, the here's here's what I've been trying to reconcile all week. I I'm I'm I love E3. I genuinely do. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I still get really excited to sure. to to like it's still so novel to me and it's like this basic primordial primordial thing of like, "Oh, this isn't out yet and I can play it." Fuck right. yeah. Yep. But I have this very I I I have this spider sense now of just like Beyond Good and Evil 2 is a, a good uh, point of Justin saying, like, oh, it's another cinematic trailer, and the tech demo that they have yeah. is, like, kind of half a tech demo. Yep. And I see that, and they say, like, oh, that's fucking Nintendo Direct. We're making a Pokemon game on Switch. Surprise. Oh, fucking of course you're making a Nintendo. Yeah, like, of course. So, I don't so know. Yeah, like, I feel like Nintendo is just the type of company where that might be sort of a surprise because they might just fuck this up forever. You're like, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just like another 10 years this of the 3DS is, somehow. This like, is also the same company that recently said, these in NESs are selling great. Stop. Stop. Quit. Yeah. So, like, I that, hate money. <laughs> the, the Metroid Prime 4 reveal, it didn't do anything for me because it's a fucking logo. Like, <clears throat> I need it to be tangible because it's happened a billion times now where yeah. Yeah. you see it and then it's gone. So, like, I'm, I guess I'm jaded about that stuff. Um, and But at the same time, like, the Bethesda press conference, I get it. It's all games that come out this year, and yeah, that's mm -hmm. cool, and it's concrete. Yep. But there wasn't anything very exciting. I feel like that's kind of across the board how it was. Lots of sequels. And yeah. so as, as, as like... As like uh, jaded as I am about like oh well that's never gonna fucking come out or that's not gonna come out for like four years that's all you got is the cinematic trailer or just a logo reveal whatever 
I'd still want some of that. Yes. For me, Monster Hunter World is the only one where it's like, here's mm -hmm. a cool reveal for a new game, and here's what it looks like being played, and it looks fucking great. That's like, I think, the only one of those that yeah. happened this yeah. entire year. Jeff, yeah. why, why do you think, you've been, you've been in the game for a long time, like why do you, I feel like usually at this point, the, the reaction that I've seen, broadly speaking, is a little bit tepid to all the pressers this year and the announcements and stuff. Why do you feel like at this point where normally mid console cycle, right. assuming that's what where we're at, is when things are like cranking and 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 uh, this would normally be like a huge year at another E3. Why is it a little more pulled back? I think everyone is in a weird spot where they're trying to find that balance between what's the right time to announce a game uh, and versus shipping it and that sort right. of stuff. One end of the spectrum being Sony last year it was like, yeah. Shimu 3, help us make it. Yeah. Bye for a year. <laughs> exactly. Like, also, we're I, not making it, so yeah. quick, run away from <laughs> yeah, the Kickstarter. Quick uh, counter argument, they're like, Breath of the Wild, Persona 5, Yakuza 0. You know, it's a banging year. Bang yeah. yeah. It's a banging year. Yeah. Yeah. E3 ain't doing it, but like, we're yeah. getting games. No, yeah, we are mid-cycle. Yeah. Yeah, it is sure. cranking. Right. It's just... And so I, I think that you have uh, a lot of companies that are, are trying to find that middle ground of when's the right time to announce a game. And, and that's changing because of the way the internet covers yeah. games and the way that streaming has become such a big deal. And like, all that stuff is just getting ripped apart and reformed in, in new ways uh, as publishers find new ways to cut people like you out of the announcement process mm. and all this other yeah. stuff. It's like, it. yo, Finally. we can just do it ourselves. I, I, I get it. I, I, get say, it. I think a part of it too is like, there are people now out there who are making their own stuff independent yeah, from right. content creators like Nintendo or whoever, who are making more interesting stuff. Am I interested in Metroid on the 3DS? Yes, but also AM2, right. it, I can't even say it, AM2R came out, and that's a better version. Yeah. Already, I'm looking at a better version of, of remake of Metroid yeah, 2, and yeah. like, am I gonna get excited about some sort of, oh great, oh, you got yeah, the guys who did like, the bad Castlevania. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the oh, moment I'm, where you're like, I'm super oh, stoked. oh, they're Are doing a new, two wow. new Metroid suite, oh wait, oh no, uh, yeah, that that is that is kind of a weird one, but for me, it was, uh, I think a couple of things that happened, I, I think I'm finally completely broken on the, like, and, and this has been happening for a while, but I think this year, maybe the last of it maybe got kind of pushed out of me is the, like, who won E3? Yeah. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, Microsoft is not out there setting the message clearly with the way they're pricing the console and all this other stuff. It's not about, can we crush Sony? Can we, can, you know, and, and Sony, for their part, is just like, yeah, we sold a lot of these things. We're just going to... Oh, show yeah, you some trailers. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> and, Got this YouTube playlist to hit play on. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and you know, it, and at least Nintendo is just you know literally pushing play on a video instead yeah. of Sony pushing play on eight of them or yeah. whatever. Uh, individual videos. Yeah. <laughs> guys gonna go. Oh shit. Oh, oh. oh no. Yeah, exactly. They got a whole thing. He's got like a turntable for trailers, and he just goes. Gotcha. Uh, uh. <laughs> and then the next trailer starts. It's very exciting. Uh, so I, I think like everyone has games that look. Fine or solid, you know. There's stuff that I go like, oh, I would like to play that when yeah. that comes out. I would like to play that. But also, it's a ton of known quantities and yeah. sequels and stuff where you, yep. you look at it and go like, I've been doing this for a while. I know exactly what that game probably is. Can Hopefully, ask, it has some twists. Can I ask you about a specific game though? Let's hear it. The Shadow of the Colossus HD. Jesus thing. Christ! Like, uh, we're <laughs> they did Didn't it on PS3, just... right? They did they on PS3. Yeah, yeah, they did the yeah. HD PS. And then, no I think it's also on PS4. PS4. Yeah. Oh, is it on PS4? I thought, I thought they brought a version of no, that over. Not this yet. Not? No. That I'm aware so they had to remake it so entirely. Remake it. <laughs> yeah. From the ground up. And I've, I, yeah. I felt like they must have thought that was a home run. And then like it came out and people were like, like what? Well, I think I everyone would, would sit there and think, like, is, is this a new thing? Yeah, or, I was really excited I, about it, that. It, it, my, my, I peaked so fast, and then literally what broke me out of it was I saw the fucking Sword Colossus, that's the first one you fight, and I was like, oh, I know exactly how to do oh, him. Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Sure. yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> over, like, done. But <laughs> everybody in the room was like, back. yeah, I, I, this is perfect, though, because I've never finished it. And I was like, why have you never finished it? <laughs> and then they're like... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. Well think about this, old man. There's a bunch of people who never played that game in the first right. place. Yep. And the PS4 Two years is ago? selling really well. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. No one bought a PS3. I thought entirely true. Yeah, but, but, uh, but the like, PS3 was why, not, right. I, even people that bought a PS3, if they didn't buy a PS2, why would they buy an HD collection of games from the PS2? So, like, right. actually re properly remaking that game is essentially a new game. You've heard what Sony thinks about what old games look like, so they have yeah, to update. Yeah, so they have to do this. Oh, yeah. Always, always. They're out there saying, oh, this stuff looks like garbage. <laughs> F that, we're paying these people to remake it so we can sell it. Yo, fuck Tomba, fuck Jumpy right. Flash. <laughs> Oh, never say that again. No, 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 never no, say that again. No, 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 no,
Yeah, how, how I piece. think the, one yeah, of the weirdest right. calls was putting um, that Undertale announcement in the pre-show. That, that would have been so an high, absolute yeah, They could have right? engendered so much it, goodwill. It violated a, a real law where it said the word Vita in it, so they were <laughs> like, <laughs> All right. nope, but that. Isn't it coming to PS4 as well? Though? Yeah, yes, PS4 and yeah. Vita. Yeah, yeah, all right. But also yep. Vita. You know, was, uh, they could have whispered, whispered that part. But they were like, oh, Vita, that sounds like some pre-show. That's the only Vita game, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Fucking orchestra to play that music. That would have been And I think that, yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that where Everyone is trying to figure out what their press conferences need to be, or their briefings, or, you know, whatever we Better. want to call them now, uh, because media you had briefings, media yeah, yeah. stuff like that in the pre-show. Nintendo announcing games immediately after it announced some games. Uh, what are Sony's coolest games? We went and played earlier today. Yeah, have you seen this hidden, hidden agenda, agenda game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh I'm yeah, seeing yeah. so. Oh, it's the, dope. Um, Made by Super Massive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Made Until Dawn. Oh, okay. Sony had yeah, no cool. interest in making an Until Dawn two, and right. so they they're making uh, a really boring looking uh, military game. <laughs> Ghost, Bravo, Ghost, team. Gro- Bravo, Bravo team. Squad, the Bravo most, team. Ghost, yeah. Ghost Squad. Bravo team. Uh, mm-hmm. But they made this game <laughs> called Hidden Agenda, which is apparently part of this Sony Europe initiative called uh, Playlink. Playlink. Yeah. Please don't shut us down. Yeah. Another Sony Europe studio. They're taking that you don't know Jack sort of idea. Idea of like you know rather than uh, uh, you know using controllers you're connecting your phone to the TV um, and the one we went to go check out was this game called Hidden Agenda which uses the same sort of like motion capture like uh, technology of Until Dawn but mm-hmm. it's this uh, it's about a like a thriller a like thriller a seven a serial killer uh, serial killer and it's uh, four people or up to four people um, and uh, you, you use an mobile phone and you're making the decisions together and so like if you split two two you have to get in the room and decide like. This has to be a majority. This doesn't move forward without right. all of us picking up. Or you can spend like a, a currency thing to like let you demand. Right, right, I'm right. going to make the decision. You get, fuck, you get three cards. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. And, so, and so what's great about it is that it's not just that you get to play the card and then like Austin gets to make the decision. Austin gets to play a card. We should shoot this decision. guy. Yes. And then I get to say fuck you. I'm playing a card. On top of that, I'm making the decision. Right. And you have up. That's fucking. It's really why good. Why the fuck didn't they show that? Also, exactly. also, also you might say I'm glad you actually got to play it. Cause, so this booth is like there's a big glass window <laughs> with a living room inside of it. You can see people having a great time. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, I gotta check this out. <laughs> I walk over, I go, hey, uh, one for that thing. And they go, are you from Europe? And I go, what? <laughs> That's go, right. Are you from Europe? And I was like, N- no. We. Oui. And they're like, well, this is for yeah. Europe. And I was like, I, I, you're here. I don't know what to do. I was like, is there another one of these over there? And they're like. Brexit really fucked us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> said the lie. Like, no, I am, I I am Europe. I, I am like, Europe. I, I thought I needed to show like a. There's the a, inside. A you just see David Cage and Michelle on top. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh Okay. Yo, this game is still really cool. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. when outside, I'm just saying, like, no one saw this fucking game, and it's right. amazing. Yeah. So, on top of that, uh, you're you're making the decisions, oh, but right. then in the middle, they'll say, like, all right, like, someone is going to have this is the hidden agenda part. So then you <laughs> this part where you hide your phone. That's and so when you hide your phone, oh. one person of the four gets a secret objective. And it is essentially usually contrary to like what you would want to do in the situation. So like I ended up right. getting the hidden uh, agenda. Or then it's like there's a guy who is who is maybe wrongfully accused and yes. he wants to present his case to a judge. And Patrick's hidden agenda is like, don't let that motherfucker Fuck present that his case to the no. judge. Shut him down. That is and he's that's going, my and he's, that is my favorite. So it's like the shit. Yeah. Two yeah. days, yeah. and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. zap like, that guy. Yes. Oh, it's, no. it's, I mean, it's that it's, fucking Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles shit of like, you got something you want to. That game was so good, it was so ahead of its time. But okay. you have shit you want to do, <laughs> and, but you're working cooperatively. This bucket or are talk. you? Yeah. <laughs> well, and this that ends up happening. We're like, we well, end up splitting, and then I know that I have this sub objective, right. and so. We ended up pinning it on this like PlayStation employee. Like we managed to gang up on this guy and be like, "Yeah, that's the dude that's yeah, got that the hidden schmuck. objective." And uh, three fourths through sort of the sequence, you can you can guess who's the person that has that objective. Yeah. And then we all pinned it on him because I managed to switch it over to him. And we got to the end. And there's like one decision left. And I, it, there are these like uh, I guess quick time sequences. Oh, I they're guess. bad. They're bad because you're, you're controlling the cursor through oh, the wow. phone yeah, and it's a little that delayed. Doesn't, that doesn't sound good. But it's pr- yeah, it doesn't yeah. work great. But if you if you uh, manage to complete it first, you get an extra takedown card. So it, you are incentivized to like try and like participate. In yeah, it. And yeah. I managed to get one of them. So I had two cards. Everyone else and had so one. Everyone else had one, and I just let everyone go, 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 and I was able to play the last card. 
pick the decision I wanted. Everyone is very upset at this point. That innocent man's I have life. ruined that innocent That's man's so life. He is going to the really chair, good. and I have plus one hundred points. So fuck y'all. They also they also had a, they also have a like that a, guy's a, name was Jimmy Jaffe, right? <laughs> <laughs> they also they have a no, look forward. They've got a Jackbox. They've got a Jackbox ass looking game. Also, they show right, off their uh, four of them. We, yeah, we, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Europe, Europe only let us yeah. in. Yeah, that's you. Yeah, Europe is like you get one. All of Europe. I love the Jackbox. I love the Jackbox games. Like I played all of them. I I adore them. Uh, this looked really cool because you could also use the camera, uh, which the Jackbox games don't do. They have like the <laughs> right. ones where you input answers or you draw for like Drawful and TKO. Uh, but you could actually like use the camera for different things. So like during the the video presentation, they took a picture of Shuhei Yoshida and uh -huh. said, "Draw Riot Gear on him." Right. It's yeah. the fucking. That's yeah. So oh, good. I was just like, yeah, it was so good. And then also you're like. Why are we trying riot? Why? It's like, draw Shuhei Yoshida as a riot cop. Like, <laughs> but actually, what? he doesn't need to be around you. That's actually the mission every time you play the game. It's just like, find a picture of Shuhei Yoshida, draw him as a riot so you cop. Find a picture, take a picture of it with your phone. Right, take a picture of the picture. And then draw a little riot gear. Oh. It, it turns out the shortcut is to just Google search Shuhei Yoshida riot gear. Yeah. And then when that comes up from his cosplay you days. They've uploaded 100 yeah, images. Exactly. It's like it's looking like, up your name with Sonic. You know, right. you can just find Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That that that's see. my original character. <laughs> that, that was okay. Shuhei Yoshida riot cop. That whole section would have, would have broken up that press conference in like a really, like, Refreshing way, way I feel like. Yeah, I, I feel, so th that's what I said about uh, their, their showing last year, is that it was just, they just, Showed a bunch of videos and said nothing about it, and it was just like, okay, these games look interesting. Right. You, you could have like told some fun stories about these or broken it up and and all this, and they chose not to. And then <laughs> apparently I was the asshole this year. Same exact style, like to a fault to the point where they like they had other more interesting games around the edges of the broadcast, and this was the year that everyone realized like, yo, I don't think this is a good way to do this. Yeah. It sucks. Um, and yeah, I, I just we I just don't commit to to it full like the idea right. that like. He comes out, you know, Sean Lane comes out and says, we got games to show you, and they commit to just showing, like, these guided demos right. and trailers, like, and just, like, committing to the games. Get it. But sometimes, like, hit an like, agenda, something. like, come yeah. out, like, you show, do the gimmicky Especially thing Especially at this point in the cycle. Yes. I mean, yes. you think about it, they gave a bunch of interviews prior to E3. Like, Sony was out there talking about how much they hate old games and, <laughs> uh, and, how, and, how, and how they're <laughs> selling a ton yeah, yeah. of PS4s. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, so... You know, they're like, at this point in the cycle, SingStar is really important. We want to make go broad and all this stuff. And then you look at that press conference and you're like, that doesn't line up with there. everything yeah. you just said. Yet you have those games. You just chose not to like showcase like, hey, there's a lot of different stuff coming to the PlayStation. We sold a lot of them. You should check this shit out. Is it wrong for me to say that having seen Sean Layden in person, he looks like he's funding some sort of misadventure led by Bane? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell you what's right or wrong, honestly. Did I, just, I don't know that I've ever seen him in person. Now he looks yeah. really like, oh, do you think you're in control? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's, you, might, you, might, you might be onto something. I, uh, I think you might have figured this who out. Who is Phil Spencer in this fanfic? Oh. Show now. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I just it, it's that that conference uh, is a bummer, and because I think they've got good games they uh, do, underneath they do. it all, you look at it and go like, yeah. all of this stuff looks interesting, regardless of when it's coming out. Like there were very few things that I was just like, what the fuck. They also have like a lot of really good first party devs and a lot of really good relationships with other devs, and like, mm -hmm. I, 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 like Ubisoft sticks out in my mind as like the press conference where they actually like brought those fucking people, people. up on the stage. Oh, like, right. Who are excited about, that are excited about the media. Yeah. Like the, and the, the dude who is the creative director on the Mario Rabbids yeah. Rabbids. Yeah. 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 He's got to cry. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah. I'm going to play that X-Pop Actually, there were two cries in Ubisoft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And so as well. Yeah. 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 And, and, he's and crying because that game's never coming out. No. Well, yeah. I th uh, that Rabbids game I, is probably one of the coolest Surprise. things. I, yeah. 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 I, I played yeah. it. I was like, Jump this is, it is so much fun. Like uh. the, the moves they put into it to like make this XCOM thing feel like fun and refreshing. Yep. I was just like, yep, I'll 1,000% so like, play this that's, that's what stuck out to me. Like playing it, you're running on this little map, and the maps are just like, the battle maps are just like right there, and they're yeah. tiny, and anybody can go pretty much anywhere in one move. Yeah. And so it's completely different from XCOM in that way, in that like if you leave anybody exposed, they get... Fucking massacre! Yeah. Like yeah. you leave your cute rabbit Luigi out exposed once, <laughs> he will get fucking destroyed. <laughs> what, what I like about it is they actually started with the initial idea of we bring out Shigeru Miyamoto on stage with a gun, and then they worked their way backwards. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> how do we make a game around that? Okay, now what? It's like, it's how do we get there? Or like, imagine that this hadn't leaked <laughs> for three weeks. You hadn't oh, already seen oh Mario with a gun. Exactly, and it was yeah. Miyamoto came out with a fucking gat. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, I'm here for this. Yes, but I'm sure he loves that gun. <laughs> I'm sure he loved it. Yeah. yeah. God. And I, oh. It reminds me of a trip through a cave once. <laughs> right, yeah. As a boy, we, I used to garden and smoke motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, yeah, just imagine he just like, walks out and it's just a Glock. Yeah. He's like, yeah, no, I got this. That, that's... <laughs> That's next year. Yeah, yeah, let's hope. The sequel is where it's like. The greedy and reboot. They, they fell into <laughs> Shadow the, crossover. They fell into the real world and AK 47s and, you know. <laughs> There's cheese, a vision in class. She's yeah, yeah, wheel. Trump's America. Tom, Tom Clancy's rabbits. We go. <laughs> Far Cry plus uh, Mario next year. Yeah. 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 Great. Really Mario's the pastor. <laughs> That's the father. Father Mario. Father Mario. Uh, he's, he's I drew a very sad version of losing my religion. <laughs> Yeah, we got some. We got some pretty good. Uh, Jesus. Pretty good, awful covers of oh my God. Duran Duran songs. How many yeah. years have to pass before they can do Mad World again? Uh, I feel like that's. I feel like We're we are there. on high We're alert for Mad World it's every year. Up. Yeah. Fun again? It's just like days since Mad World. Yeah. Uh, it's like, oh well, uh, reset. That. Why didn't Cliff do that with Lawbreakers? What a power play that would have been. Oh shit! <laughs> he was like, Don't. how do you like that epic? <laughs> I mean, ten cent. Yeah. Now it's, it's a good Cliffy impression. Yeah, it's wow. really good. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It's, I know it's very close to your rabbit. He sounds a lot like a rabbit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I, I mean, yeah, it, it's 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 fun to goof. But like seriously, I, I do feel like there was some good stuff here. Like what's like. Sea of Thieves. We gotta talk about Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Me and Justin uh, and Austin all played Sea of Thieves together with a fourth person whose name we did not. Did you get the name? Michael. M Michael. <laughs> you made that up. <laughs> that game. <laughs> Could have been Michael. Michelle. Michelle. Pronounce it. Michelle. Michelle. Rest in peace. Yeah. He's gone. He didn't uh, make it. It was the most. It's, it's, I played that. I played that game last year too, and it was a lot of fun. But back then, it was just the ship sailing, and I got in like a fight with somebody, and uh, you I played I, an accordion for a yeah. while, and you're like, I don't know. There was like nothing to do except sail, and now this demo is like you can get off, and there's treasure hunting and all this other stuff, and it's just the funniest. We were talking about before we got on about how yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like a stage. It's like an improv. It's like improv where like. Um, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's gonna be the type of game that a lot of people expect it to be, and those people will probably be disappointed <laughs> yeah. in it. Like it's not gonna be this deep pirate RPG or right. whatever. Yeah. It's a game about just doing like really funny. Fucking. I, I, there's there, so you have a map. <laughs> you have a map, and you you actually have to like there's no waypoints or whatever, so you have to look at the map and then look at where you are and wow. see where like no. the treasure is. Yeah. And you press a button, right trigger to like raise it up to your own face to like read it, and then you let it go and you can see where you are. <laughs> or you can press left trigger to turn it around and hold it up proudly in front of people, and Justin wouldn't stop doing that not stop. So the three of us would be pushing this big heavy wheel to raise an anchor while Justin walks around slowly rotating around the wheel, making sure all of us saw this his, his good map. map. It's and also, his, we his all have the same map. We saw the map, yeah. Justin. Also, got... Justin's character model was just this huge, gnarly dude holding up his macaroni art for everybody to see. It was the funniest <laughs> at, at a certain point. Yeah, at exactly. a certain point, I got I went downstairs and got a bunch of grog and got absolutely pounded and then started holding up my map as I'm projectile vomiting over. <laughs> and like, then look. you started playing Sea of Thieves. And then I began <laughs> the demo shortly thereafter. And I, and I know I it, it's just gonna I know about my brand and everything, but fuck it's funny to watch a banana just go into the face. It's great. <laughs> it's very good. Like I in the center of the screen. Like that. Like, you have one banana hole. <laughs> <laughs> it just you floor? Just feed it. Yeah, it, everyone's a snork so in this world. Good. I've watched it a thousand times and it's fucking good. Uh, you watched it, you lived it. I yeah. lived it. Uh, you, how cool. was that? Oh, bad. You feel bad? No. It was like you don't think about it, but it's a lot like eating a basketball. <laughs> you know, now that you mention that. In what I, way? In the rubberiness of this <laughs> experience. Mm. Shit, I'm crying thinking about that fucking banana <laughs> anime. <laughs> Okay. I, I feel like that game might end up being a little bit like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which is like maybe not as hard to play, but like very fun to watch. Like groups of people. It'll be the best like, stream yeah, game yeah, yeah, yeah. ever. Yeah, like yeah. the right kind of people playing it, streaming it. Like it, you, I 
There was a moment because I, I played mm. it with strangers, and it still worked. It, it, no, like okay. it took like oh, 20, right. <laughs> well, it took like 20, 30, like most of the demo to like sort of like find our rhythm. One yeah. person didn't speak English. That made it rough. They kept dying. Right. Um, <laughs> and I'm not saying that couldn't work, Wait. but like watching them, and I was watching their demo, and I was right. like, oh my gosh, like. I would watch this stream of them playing. Yeah. Right. I'm, le I'm not even that interested in playing this game, but right. I would watch them continue. There was a moment play. where we were trying to get to an island because you look at a big map, there's a big map in the second, like, Floor, like the lower the deck, the middle yeah, deck, yeah, yeah. and you have to match that with what the shape of one of the islands is on the on the your personal little maps. And we figured that out. And what we didn't figure out is that the the middle deck map does not actually reflect the actual scape of the sea, where there are big fucking rocks and stuff. Oh, and there yeah. were sails in front of my eyes. I think I was piloting it, so I couldn't see anything. So I was kind of want everybody else to tell me what was all around. And Griffin climbed like the mast of the ship to be my lookout. Oh yeah. And then you fucking fell into the ocean. Well, the three of us were out there because we knew we couldn't turn the ship fast enough to get away from. The rocks, right? And so we just went out there, and Justin was like jamming on his accordion and showing us his fucking map, and we just struck which you can do underwater. Yeah, water maps. Yeah, good. Good. Shark, maps? Fucking shark right. underwater. That was dope. Yeah. The the like the Justin made a point uh, when we were talking about it for for a video about like the what the sticking point is going to be like. It's all about like finding buried treasure, bringing it back to the mm -hmm. ship. Yeah. What do you do with the treasure at that point? Because if it's like if it's like you think about it like Destiny, where like you get to work with a team to beat a really hard boss. And if you're doing that, and somebody just starts fucking goofing around, you yeah. get pissed off yeah. about it because you want those rewards. Right. Because they're kind of desirable need to know when and you switch tough from to goofball to. time. That's to it. Like, like let's make it happen. This, this like griefing simulator that they've created. Is Justin yeah. sunk our ship. Justin sunk our <laughs> ship. Justin dropped the sunk their ship. That. I did. They they all jumped off to swim to the island, and like I was, adults, I was watching them. And Griffin started getting chased by a shark, and I thought, well, fuck that. And I, <laughs> and I raised the anchor by myself. And I piloted the boat over, and I was like, look, guys, this is way easier. And I jumped out of the boat, and I didn't drop the anchor. He ghost rode the whip right up onto the right. <laughs> yes. And then we fucking finished that thing. We, we went did. out there, we hit the pace button. There's a button to do exactly like one step at a time, and it counts right. it. Yeah. You dug up the treasure. Me and Griffin brought it back all proud and yeah, He shit. was like shooting skeletons while yeah. I was carrying the treasure running. And it then we dope. we turn, and there's a when your ship crashes, a mermaid holds a signal <laughs> flare up like, you fucked up! <laughs> Yeah, that was on me. And you for can't sure. keep the treasure. But like you that's funny but that that time. You know, but like I don't know after that right. we do that that one time and it's like after that like like how, how many more mechanics are there that, that would like be like showing someone the map? I was like in, how, I was how we far drifted. Do you go? I was in an interview with them yeah. and they were like and say you're in a public matchmaking session with three people and I'm like oh, No. No. <laughs> yeah, it won't be. No, give me another option cuz that <laughs> not that's in no way and they said the average session lasts like an hour. Mm -hmm. So like the oh. idea of having a crew of three strangers for an hour, like I don't know, if we're really trying to like get shit done, I don't know I don't know if that's the ideal But scenario but for the it. I think the thing that really is gonna make it the thing I keep coming back to that I think would be really fun is the PvP stuff because the last time I played uh, this time, we uh, respawned <laughs> yeah. our ship after the mermaid incident uh -huh. and got on it. And then we saw another team's ship just sitting next to us with nobody on it. They so we they stopped and we lit their ship the fuck up for no reason except to make them not have a ship anymore. <laughs> they should experience what you had to go right, through. I mean, right. you're helping their demo. We right. grew. But the last, the last time I played, I got in a for real ship fight where we were being chased and they were, you know, head on. And we dropped our anchor, which lets you literally oh, drift. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And destroyed them and that shit rules. So like that tension of like, oh, we've got treasure and we have to get it back to this island and oh, there's other people trying to stop us. Yeah. We gotta take them down. Like that, that's good, that's like good gameplay. Not the like hitting a skeleton with a sword with a <laughs> canned shitty animation. Yeah, right. like, yeah, the shooting and like, no. it feels like a game jam game in search of like a larger context. And I wonder and they're, like they're, they're, what, doing, yeah. they're running a beta right now, they yeah. have been doing it for a while. Right. And talking to the developers, they actually struggled whether they should call it a beta or not yeah. because the game industry is ruined what the term beta means, which is largely like a pre-order demo. Yeah. yeah. And what they're doing right now is Actually, a beta. It's like we have this thing. Like we, like we, they see what happened with them. We watch right. people streaming it. Like it's like we have something, but like what do we have? And I just like, don't. What do you? That's why like this it? like spring 2018 sounds more like fall 2018. Or it's Xbox still preview program, right? Like yes. maybe it's that's go a smarter it, yeah, way to do it. Or they yeah. somehow find it and they're like, oh, okay, we know what this is now. Boom, build it, go. Right. Uh, it reminds me of Spy Party, kind of like with yeah, yeah, yeah. Spy Party first came out and you played that, you're like, is that, well, that was? Fun. Yeah, I was gonna no. say. <laughs> it reminds me of Spy Party. No, I think I think it came out. Spy Party is not fucking out. He remade that whole game. Spy Party's out. 
right now. No, it's you not. Can, it's hey, not. listen, <laughs> right at the bottom of the screen, you see a link. Spy party. <laughs> Me and the team, Checker, we've been yeah. working on it for ages. And we're <laughs> let's so bring Checker. Let's bring Checker out, everybody. Hey, Checker, come on out. Come on. Uh, it's gone. Uh, Something else. Still working on Spy Party. Yeah, yeah, we're on Spy Party. To present Spy Party. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Skull and Bones, uh, the, right. the Ubisoft pirate game. Like, if I it seemed decidedly it. less like fun, <laughs> yeah. you know, but also like it looked like, hey, this might be a good time if you just like if you're into the murder part of this thing. I bet that was a bracing, bracing time on the Sea of Thieves. I bet. I have crew. a weird like oh. I have a weird thought about that though because they're basically just repackaging something that they already had made sure. and totally. saying like. Hey, great! Now it's multiplayer. Now pay sixty bucks or whatever the hell it's gonna be for this thing that we already had that we could already int like implement yeah. that we could have. For all you, you know, that could have been a <coughs> mode in in Black Flag and right. Black Flag's uh, <laughs> Black Flag. Uh huh. Go on. Yeah. Fantastic yes. game. And um, <clears throat> like I just don't. I feel very uncomfortable with this notion of companies that are taking something that they had already had and. Yeah. Three years and, later. And, and getting it back to kind of wait yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if that's bad though because like Just Dance is just a Raving Rabbids mini game that made them a gajillion dollars, but people f eventually forget <laughs> that like that was a Raving Rabbids mini game. Yeah, Do people ever know? I, I was yeah. Say, I mean, that, yeah, that's I not, that. that's 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 real. Uh, that's as real it's as Michelle real. Phelps. Real. Jeez. He could have made that. <laughs> um, I'm just yeah. Yeah. No, I but, believe him. Real is real. All right. Like, that I like about the, this uh, this like weird Ubisoft uh, pirate ballot game, right? Is that everybody else is like, you know what? Competitive games. There's only one way to make it. Well, two sports and shooting people in the face. That's right. And Ubisoft was like. What if we cool. just never do that? They were like, we made Ubisoft Seed, or what, Ubisoft Seed? Ubisoft Seed, Ubisoft Seed. Seed. <laughs> no, they're like, Ubisoft. fuck, you got me. <laughs> God damn it. They're, they're, like, they're like, oh, let's get, we'll, like, we'll get ourselves away. And they made, they're like, what if we made a, I don't know, like, you're like a samurai, and like, I don't know, like a knight? And they're like, yeah, like, let's do that. And they're like, how do we top that? Well, you're a boat, and there's another boat. Like, you what, are we boat. Gonna, what are we going to get next year? It's just like, I I don't know, you're just two cute horses and you're like friends. I don't know, you're two <laughs> eagles and you play it in virtual yeah, reality. I don't like, know. Yeah. Their, their multiplayer <laughs> stuff is like, I, I admire Even it. Even you go back to Assassin's Creed multiplayer, like it's such a different, shit. yeah. 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 It's like crazy oh, stuff. Spy, spy party, party. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. yeah. But like, I, I, I think that's great. And I, I agree. Like, on one hand, yeah. it's like crud because it's like, well, I would like another Black Flag game, sure. On the other hand, like I don't know that I do, man. Like yeah, I looked at that and was like, you know, it, it, like enough time has passed that yeah. you have to figure, like, yeah, like they're they're using that as a core because they're that team and you know sure. there's that stuff. But I feel like if they're building a full game around it, and, 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 I don't know the, the stuff that they talked about. There was like, and it's season based multiplayer. I'm like, I'm out. It's, yeah. it's not, yeah, the minute so. you're like pitching your game on announce is like, yo, sports. It's like I just yeah, it's no. some point. No, you have, to, you have to do that. Like, and he's up. That right. shit. Not a, not, not, not a lot of fake. Uh, not a lot of fake chatter. Uh, like, oh, like, yeah, like, I feel kind of bad for the yeah, one dude that did. The, yeah, the, that one dude. The one guy, you guys are going to have more of this in the show, right? It's not going to be, I'm not going to be the only human being <laughs> only <laughs> in all of E3 yeah. doing this. Yeah, oh, no, 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 oh, lots, lots, lots of people are no, going to No, no, Jethro that. Tull, you've got it. <laughs> You're going to have other people with yellow shirts on stage, right? And yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Several people all with yellow, yellow shirts. All our yellow shirts are very excited to present this year. Um, there was a distressing lack of people telling each other to stay frosty. I, yeah, yeah. That was really, yeah. really bothering. Oh, I don't know. That's that's that was uh, like a refreshing change for video games. Is like I feel like we came out of, and maybe that's maybe why people felt like the press conferences were not all that exciting because generally speaking they were fine yeah. and it wasn't yeah. just like all this stuff no, that was right. just like super like you're not seeing a lot of loops of just like can you believe this shit happened look at this asshole like it just it, that just wasn't there i think there's a log in saying stay frosty while you're on the beaches of normandy too <laughs> yeah. that's just like a general policy. that's how they talk back then uh, like yeah, stay frosty uh, yeah no shit. <laughs> it sucks here. <laughs> that dude just got his leg blown off. Yeah, but stay frosty. Just Wouldn't have gotten his leg blown off if he stayed frosty. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He was stay warm. Yeah. Did you notice in the Assassin's Creed Origins presentation that the dude said, um, the team and I have been hard at work since uh, we released Assassin's Creed Black Flag at three years ago. And I'm like, 
Um, are we just gonna all <laughs> sort of pretend that was the last one? <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. The the last one you guys released, Assassin's Crag. Uh, cla- <laughs> <laughs> Assassin's Crag. <laughs> Assassin's Crag. Excuse yeah. me. Oh, uh, you get a whole bunch of Yeah, so yeah, much the Assassin's Crag. Yeah, 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 if you climb to the top, you get a This is actually a very good video. It's a piece of Eden. It all comes together. Wow. Sounds good. You get the apple up there. You get to watch videos of blue motherfuckers doing whatever they. I explained to him when uh, Michael O'Malley would hand the aggro crab to the kids, they would touch it and see the future of the sun explode. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Kill Chris and Bell. And yeah. I guess with that, we'll t- toss it back to you, Mo. <laughs> that was crazy. They would get the, tr- the trophy each time, and then they would kill Chris and Bell every episode. <laughs> every time. <laughs> Desmond, Why you're the best contestant on the show we've ever had. You're really nailing it. You got all this aggro crab. Now we have to kill you. <laughs> Three games in, they got in <laughs> well. Well. Does well, anybody man. remember that first person that was supposed to be 3D? Part of uh, Assassin's Creed. Did, it, did anybody play this? I feel like this is a hallucination I have. Was... There was like a, a first person puzzle game stuck in it, and then like Desmond narrated on top of it, like a John oh. Updike novel. He's like, I've moved to New York and I'm horny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this game? This is this, this real. That I'm just telling you. That I'm just, I'm just, this is a dream you have. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like, they won't let me go back to the farm. <laughs> the pharmaceutical company is here. Someone fix it Chris. What happened to Chris? No, 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 go go look it have, have you been storting aphids again? No. <laughs> Just lines yeah, of them? Lines of sweet nets? Mm, mm. we got to wrap this Y'all. up now. All After right, that, yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm going to go see if this game exists. We're going to get proof. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Yeah. Uh, for uh, having uh, us. Busy show tomorrow, or are you kind of like wrapped up at this point? Anyone? Yeah, I mean, cracked uh, down. Oh, cracked Yeah, yeah. I have to interview Koji Igarashi. Cool. Which is super cool, but I... Again, first time for everything. Yeah, yeah. no, that that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, he's he's usually a pretty good interview. I hope so. Except for now that all this stuff about like, yo, Do Konami the is the worst anymore? company. Yeah. Ever. I don't want him yeah. to like uh, hit me with a yeah, whip. Yeah, I, I, he did not have the whip the last time I saw him. Oh, that makes yeah. me feel a little bit. At safer. least not during the presentation. No. We, okay, we saw the presentation, yeah. and I saw no presentation. whip. I'm gonna put that on blast real quick because I've had a mm. couple beers. All right. <laughs> They did like a 30 minute presentation on Bloodstain that included like a 10 minute segment on what Castlevania was. Thank yeah. you. I, yeah. It was I a know. full PowerPoint. Wait, what are you talking about? Fucking blood, blood stain. They no, did, did the other things. Castlevania. Castle. I'm Didn't not doing this. Judges, <laughs> judges, <laughs> <laughs> judges. Yes. Yes. It took them 10 minutes to do that, and they couldn't have just pointed at their game and been like, "This is one. this." It's that. <laughs> yeah. They did that. And they did like a point. Do you remember PlayStation One? It's this one. They did point by point what's different, like 3D this time. Mm. Yeah. All, all right. right. All right. That was bad. And that game seems fine, but it's yeah, yeah, fine. Like, yeah. And then they made us play the demo after watching them play. Uh. Yeah, they played the demo, then you got to play the demo, yeah, which is great. also one of my least favorite things. Well, thanks everyone for coming by and closing out with us. I know it's super <laughs> late, uh, but but seriously, no, thanks for coming. Thank yeah. You. And, and uh, good luck at the show tomorrow. Good luck with that coconut. <laughs> is that tomorrow? You gonna eat that hairy fruit? Uh, it's hard to it's hard to pick the day when your face dies from <laughs> trying to put a big. You gotta pick one though. I feel like you made it this far. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, a, a lot. It's a big nut. <laughs> you gotta lose your oh, teeth. Well, all right. That's yeah. his only only mouth for his whole life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah have, there's only science for that. Yeah. Don't worry about it. See Detroit become human. It's, yeah. Yeah. They got this whole thing. We'll be back tomorrow with just hours and hours of guests again, and. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to end how you think it's going <laughs> to. We'll be back tomorrow. Everybody have a good night. Thanks for watching.